Welcome back to Dads and Lads Fishing Channel. This video is all about the best place to go to earn cash and XP. Now one of the questions that gets asked a lot on the forums is, is it better to go to California, to Blue Crab Island or to Weeping Willow? So what I did was travel to the three places, fish, and work out my average XP and average cash per day. And at all these places I fished at peak times. I fast forwarded to from one peak time to the next and I fished with a 400 kilogram net and at each place I fish with 20 kilogram line or braid just to make it kind of equal as far as earning XP. Here at California, I was fishing for the sturgeon with my usual setup with spawn sacks and three rods. In California, these were the day's results. A total of 11,261 XP and almost 64,000 currency. This works out at 27.3 XP per kilo and 154.8 currency per kilo. Here at Blue Crab Island, I fish with four rods, two bottom rods and two float rods. The same again, trying to fill the 400 kilo net. On the bottom rods I've got 20 kilo line and I was catching a mixture of uh, drum, flounder, snook and then on the float rods I actually put 24 kilo line on there just because the tarpon, it took so long to get them in especially the big ones. So I made that change. I was fishing with shiners and you can see there the um, 0 0.7 mil fluoro. Even with the 24 kilo line, it did take a while to get this these big tarp on in. The thing about Blue Crab Island is that you've got a real mixture of different species so you don't really know what you're going to catch, especially if you're using bottom rods and uh, float rods. Not as hectic as the sturgeon fishing where I was fast forwarding the time every, every two hours. You can see here we've got some examples of the day's results. So what I did was average them out. This gave me 59.5 XP per kilo and 119.5 currency per kilo for Blue Crab Island. So then on to Weeping Willow. Here I was fishing on the Cave Lake and also on Willow's Lake. The Willows Lake on sunny days and the rest of the time here on Cave Lake with three markers out. A very productive little spot. Same again, 20 kilo line just to make sure that the XP was as much as possible without taking too long to get these fish in because sometimes while you're bringing one in, a big like a unique you bring them bringing one in you might get two to escape so <laughs> that's not good so you need to get them in quickly but just to make it similar between these three different locations i was using 20 kilo line again fishing peak times 
and fast forwarding between them this minimizes the amount of time that you're actually waiting for fish so here's some examples again of the results and this gave me an average of 73 xp per kilo and 178 currency per kilo for weeping willow so if we summarize this on a graph you can see that weeping willow offers the best xp and cash per kilo there are pros and cons of fishing at each of these locations um, in California it, it is predictable you know you're going to catch fish the bait is cheap but at the same time it can become quite monotonous at BCI it's unpredictable because you don't really know what kind of fish you're going to be catching and similarly if you're using shiners or large cut bait it is cheap bait but at the same time because BCI is unpredictable you can have good days and bad days Weeping Willow is good because you often get uniques and you can get several in a day and your XP can really be boosted because of that the bad thing about weeping willow is that you get a lot of small fish as well which have very very low xp and it can be costly to fish there so even though it looks like you're making a lot of money when you've got to pay for your ground bait and your boilies uh, it the net return is less than you would maybe think so thanks for watching i hope that's been useful to you and if you've got any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Apologies to those people who fish in Michigan. Uh, I didn't include that. I know there's good XP there with the Northern Pike. Feel free to do your own experiment and let me know how you get on. Um, good luck with your fishing, tight lines, and uh, I'll see you next time.